job, you two. Look, country CEO in the house, man. I'm on asphalt job today, and look, I want to demonstrate something for you guys. One of the components of driving a triax, at least, for you guys that are looking at a triax dump truck. I know in Atlanta and Georgia, different places, uh, the, the, the state does not recognize the triaxle, but I think it is recognized in more states than is not recognized, right? So I haven't done uh, any kind of demonstration about the third axle. So today, uh, on one of my videos, I'm going to show you how to work that third axle. So let me just give you a shot of it without having to turn my camera around, right? That's the third axle. All right, you see both axles there. All right, so that's the third axle. You see it's up right now, right? So I'm going to just kind of be showing you the controls that work that uh, third axle and then how you have to go with the up and down motion of stopping at red lights and that kind of thing because if it's not a steerable third axle, then you got to let it up and let it down. You don't want to be turning uh, that weight of a load on that third axle at sharp turns like a stop sign, right? Because you can do some damage if, you, if you're not careful. I have done it. Sometimes I have a mental lapse and I still do it every now and again. And uh, But it's not a good thing, you know, it wears the towel. And then I have seen guys pop an axle or break some components off of that third axle because of that. All right, so uh, uh, stay tuned. I'm gonna be showing you some different components of the third axle. I'm gonna show you the controls that control it first. And then I'm gonna demonstrate for you while we're out on the road, how you should go up and down at different intervals and when you can put it back up. And while that's important too for DOT purposes, right? All right, grinders, so stay tuned. We'll be back to show you about that third axle. All right, YouTube. I told you earlier about that third axle gonna be the topic of this video. How it functions, operates, all that good stuff, right? I can't start uh, telling you about that though until we understand how it works on the gauge on the inside, right? All right, so here we are we have the gauge that tells you how much pressure is on that third axle right we have this thing here this is the gauge that actually controls it you pop it up right and then you turn it in order to increase or decrease see how it came up all right put it down but that controls how much pressure you put down that's going to be on your third axle when you let it down which is used by this right all right so typically here in Louisiana, most guys, we run 50, 60 pounds of pressure on the third axle. Why is that country CEO? Because if you don't run enough pressure, then when you stop, that third axle is going to ski it, right? You're going to just be, be, you know, the truck is going to stop, but that third axle is going to ski it, and you're going to be burning the rub up on the third axle, right? So uh, we use at least 50, 60. We found that to be pretty good. And that third axle actually helps uh, with braking, right? All right, so this is the gauge that tells you, you look at it when it's down, let it down. Then you look at it and see you have at least 50, 60 pounds of pressure. This is the gauge that controls if you need to increase or decrease the pressure. This is the up and down lever for the third axle, right? All right, so I just wanted to show you the controls. It's all on this main control box that controls bed, PTO, tailgate, top, all of that, right? Most trucks, this is how it's going to be set up. All right, so next thing I'm going to be showing you is that how I let up and down at the intersection. You ain't going to be able to see the tire, but you're going to hear probably the air goes when I hit that thing and go down. And then I'm going to just be demonstrating to you how you're supposed to put it up, when you ought to let it up before you get to the intersection, all that good stuff, grinders. All right, so look, stay tuned again, man. All right, grinders, we're dealing with this third axle situation, right? Trying to show you how... The correct way you ought to up and down and all that good stuff, right? So, just not coming off the yard of the asphalt plant today. All right, so I haven't let it down yet because I hadn't got on the road yet. All right, stopping at the railroad tracks. All right, get ready to come out on the main road, right? So, I still haven't let the wheel down yet. All right, so, all right, so I'm making the right turn now, right? And I'm on the road. All right, so it's now that when I get on the road and I'm letting it down now, I'm gonna see if you might can hear the air when it goes down. 
All right, you may or may not heard that, but I just let it down once I got on the road, right? As soon as I got on the main road, I let it down. And that's important because you don't want the OT to catch you on the main road with it up. All right, why is that important? Country CEO, well, in Louisiana, if I don't have that, that uh, third axle down, then that's just like I'm a tandem, right? Well, that's a problem if I got a full load of 19, 20 tons because that's not a tandem load, which means I'm overweight, which means ticket, which means 13, 14, 15, 16, 1700 dollars ticket, right? All right, so let me explain that again. All right, you need to be letting that third axle down as soon as you get on the road. All right, the reason why is because if not, then he gonna, you know, you're looked at as being a tandem. A tandem in Louisiana, I'm gonna just speak for my state, it can only, I think, 57, 58,000, something like that. So if I'm, if I'm 67 instead of 57 because my wheel is up, then that puts me 10,000 pounds over. And oh, I'm here to tell you, that is not a cheap ticket. I had a driver one time, got caught like that. Man caught him with the wheel up. I guess he forgot to let the wheel down. Wrote him a ticket, weighed him out as a tandem. And uh, that ticket bust me in the head for about $1,400, right? All right, so I'm simply trying to tell you, you got to be conscious of if you got a triaxle or quad axles, right? Don't just go for tries if you got quads and uh quints man look you better be letting that wheel down when you get on the road because if not that's a major ticket all right and them some of them dot's be looking for that all right so i got my wheel down and i'm called when i get to this intersection up here i'm going to show you how i handled that particular situation all right because on the third axle um, you know, if it's not a steerable, as I said before, it's not going to turn when you turn, right? Um, if you're fortunate enough to get a triaxle or a quad or a quint that has steerable, then man, look, you got it made, then you, you in good shape because you ain't got to worry about letting it down, but just letting it down, it'll turn, uh, with you because it's a steerable third axle. That's a great thing, no big deal. I'm not telling anybody that you got to go out there and spec a truck out with a steerable third axle. You don't have to do that unless you just want that luxury, okay? You can, I, I've not had one uh, that had a steerable third axle. All of mine had to be, you know, where I had to let it up or down uh, at the intersections, right? All right, so, uh, look, if this info is, is, is valuable to you, hit the like, hit the subscribe, hit the uh, notification bell, share this video. Now, this is a nugget here. This is good information here now about this third axle situation or if you got a quad or a quint. I know the applicable laws in your state, but I'm sure that there, uh, there is some stipulations between if you got them extra axles in every state that you can haul a certain amount of weight, but if you got the weight on you and you don't have those axles up, then that could be a major problem. All right, so look, very important here. This is what you need to get out the rest of this video. Uh, I know my intersection is about a mile away right now. All right, I can see the red light up ahead. You probably can't see it yet, but I see it. All right, so with me knowing that the third axle takes about seven anywhere from five to ten seconds to come up off the ground right now right i'm gonna wait i'm gonna wait i'm gonna wait i'm gonna probably get by this chicken place and i'm gonna go ahead and let it up right and i'm gonna show you a trick to the trade all right and why this is important all right this is the chicken place all right so i'm gonna go ahead and let my third axle up because i know it's gonna take five to ten seconds to come all the way up now watch this, it's coming up now. If I get on brakes now for some other reason, guess what? It's going, it, that, that, that third axle tire is gonna still be partially on the ground and it's gonna ski it. Why Jones? Because it's not all the way up. All right, so you wanna give enough ample time for that third axle to come on up. All right, so I know now, it's been about 10 seconds, I know it's up. I ain't got to wonder, 
I ain't got to look out the window. I know what's up. All right. So you see, I caught that light. And this is why it's important because now I'm coming up to where I got to make a left turn. All right. So this is why you do it. Right. But you got to know where your turn is at. Let the third axle up before time so you don't skid by having to get on brakes before you had to or you don't run the risk of turning on that third axle all right as you can see this is a sharp left turn it's not just a kind of half curve or anything right this is a red light this is a sharp um left turn i gotta make and so i know if i don't do you know let that wheel up that's gonna put pressure on that third axle and like i told you before i have done it but it's not a good practice to do you can break something and you're gonna wear that tire all right so I'm making my turn, getting back on Main Street. Guess what? As soon as I straighten up, right, I'm letting this wheel down. Because <laughs> I don't know who up here. What man might be up here, something like that. So, wheel is back down. Guess what? That's all it is to it, man. Working that third axle, staying legal, and uh, staying out of the DOT's way. Don't just give your money away. Right, grinders? Look. I'm out of here, man. Once again, if this video has been valuable, hit the like, hit the subscribe, share this video. Country CEO, I'm grinding out here, y'all. I'm gone.